What's going on everybody? We're playing some more spell disc together here. I just defeated the Emperor from the Rampage mode. So we have unlocked the outfit and also the Emperor's Scepter or something like that. The weapon, I can't remember what it's called. But I'm going to try it out today with you all. And we're going to th go through the dungeon using the full Emperor outfit to see what it's all about. Still haven't read the descriptions or anything so I don't really know what it does. But I'm sure it will be interesting. So let's jump in here. So let's start the game. And I'm going to go max difficulty, which is 14 for myself right now. So we have the Emperor's Scepter, for real, it is called that. So we have continuous attack, charge attack is explosion. Let's check that out. So here's a charge attack. Whoa! So it does a square of some attacks there. What is it considered again? Slashing and continuous. Interesting. Yeah, I'd say that it has some of the best attacks for the uh, the weapon so far. So the Emperor outfit. When you craft an artifact, there is a chance to craft a copy of the artifact on the ground. The chance is reduced by half each time an item is copied, but you cannot craft defensive art artifacts. You can't ever get any defensive artifacts. So Emperor is super offensive, I guess. Or does that mean you can't copy a defensive artifact? It, it could mean either, to be honest with you. I'm not sure, we'll see. Increase max upgrade by plus five, ew. But decreases chance of crafting high level items, ew. I hate that. I don't do upgrades. Um, I have never upgraded to the max either. I, I don't know if I've ever hit the max. Um, this sucks. I don't like that. I don't like that at all, but we're gonna have to do it because we're doing an Emperor run. I do like this spell right here, the Hurricane. It's physical continuous, maybe I do a continuous type of build. Let's just jump in and see how it goes. So here we go with the Emperor outfit. Into the grotto. I'm gonna do one of these. Oh god. So for once, I think that I actually will use the full combo attack instead of the charge attack. Because the full charge takes quite a long time to charge up. And although I do like the attack itself, it's just too much of a charge up to get the full effect. So we have this, we have that, we have this, we're gonna get six items. My god, why did I get two of those? We definitely don't want red blouse twice. Ew. Yikes. What is this? Ice monolith. I think I have seen that before. We have lightning comb, explosion stun disc. I don't know if we're doing explosion. Explosion hit disc. We don't have any explosion besides our charge attack, so I don't think it's going to be a good idea. So I'm going to reroll. Cerulean Elixir. Immune to cold, and we build up cold. Um, okay, yeah, I'm not charging my attack, so that doesn't work that well. 10% damage increase per unequipped item. I hate those type of items, to be honest with you. We have a slash disc, we have a weapon spell hit disc, which is only applying to one spell. I don't like that either. This is continuous, right? Scorching Aura is continuous. So is Spark Fire, but it depends on you dashing for it to be the most effective. I still might take it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take both of these spells. So we have Fire and Continuous kind of being a little bit of a synergy or kind of being a pattern so far. Generate five mana for each gem obtained. No, we reroll the items here. Health or shield loss gives damage buff which diminishes over time. Gain one instance of 100% increased attack damage on dash. Interesting. I don't think I want it. Fire status is triggered, lightning status is triggered, ew. I don't like status triggered type of requirements. I, it just doesn't happen as much as I want it to. Increase critical chance and increase critical damage. I will take that. Lightning affliction, yikes. Fire creation could be good later on, but right now I'm not sure if I want that. Ooh, let's go with the cheeky reroll. This doesn't look good. Gem jar, generate 5% of gems held as mana per second to all discs. Max 2,000 gems. Interesting. 
I'll take it for now because the rerolls are getting a little bit crazy. When attack type is finished, oh that sucks. Stun disc is fine. Attack disc is okay. We're slowly generating mana <laughs> for a second. Yeah, we'll see how this turns out. I just wanted to give up on rolling there, to be honest. We're attacking enough times for the attack disc to work, but I will eventually want to phase out of that because on the later stages, sometimes you just don't have the opportunity to really place attacks out there. You're busy dodging too much kind of thing. So I don't want to rely on it. We're going to do my typical type of... Um, strategy where I am just going to wait until we purchase a bunch of things so that I can be more effective with the rerolls that we have still in our inventory. Because I don't want to just reroll on like one item, you know? It's better if you have multiple items sitting there that you've summoned. And I will wait. Oh, gems are disappearing. I don't know if that's new. I swear they used to not disappear, but they're I have to be mindful of that because I always forget that they do disappear now. So we're going to have a pedestal here to choose from. I'm excited. Do, 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 do. Love the sounds. Love the sounds coming from the scepter. So far, so good. Yeah, the Emperor stuff is definitely different, but it's not super... It's not super different. I, I thought it would be much more extravagant, let's just say. For each 40 gem spawn, create a staggering nova. No. I know I definitely want the Thunderwalt, so we're just going to take it. And we are still waiting to purchase, I think. I actually wait for uh, right before the right before the shop, usually. This tends to be what works out best. I don't know. I've changed my ways for sure. Hey! Jack, how's it going? It's been a while. So we're going to do some more farming before we buy. Wait, how am I... Oh, the Scorching Aura is a... Like, it's actually an aura. I, I thought it was the fire dome that I picked up, but this is still good. I will maybe upgrade this particular spell, the, the fire aura, because one of the common things that can happen with it is the size upgrade, which would be amazing. This is not a new game, actually. This is a game that I played a lot last year. Um, it was actually my... my top game of 2023 in my 2023 tier list. Not tier list, but like best games of 2023. I made a video. This was ranked number one. It just uh, recently came out with version 1.0, so there's a lot of new updates that I'm getting through still. But yeah, I haven't been playing it lately because or, you know, over the last few weeks I have, but before that I wasn't playing it very much because I was waiting for the updates, and now they've come out. Generate 34.8 of weapon spell. No, weapon spell, no. Why are you crying? On critical, ch gain a critical charge on critical hit. On seven charge, you do a bunch of damage. We do have increased crit chance. We're at, sitting at 25% because of this thing. So we're just going to keep rolling with that crit stuff. Have I made you cry? I didn't think I'd be doing that today. But hey, human emotions are real. You never know what can happen. Get this guy out of here. Wow. Level 14, difficulty 14. I think I'm noticing how much additional spawn rate there is for the enemies. This is the last thing before the shop, so let's let's make it a good one. Oh my goodness. I'd say in terms of the choices of items that we've gotten so far. We've gotten pretty lucky with the options that we've been given. I was doing multiple runs to try to unlock the Emperor, and uh, I was getting super unlucky. It took a lot longer than I thought it would. So, we are going to buy another spell disc. We're going to buy one of each-ish. Maybe another two of each. Two of some. 
Oh, we're like, what is it? Six dollars short of buying one of each of them again. You're fighting a ram in RGD with one max HP and a bunch of max strength. Oh boy. <laughs> Today's crown challenge. Okay, daily challenges. And died as soon as he summoned a droid. Oh man, sorry to hear that. That sounds like a really hard challenge, by the way, if you have to fight with one max HP. But I guess you're just killing everything in one hit, right? Guaranteed critical hit on full health target. Why am I getting duplicates every time I summon both at the same time? This is not a great one. I don't care about that that much. We don't have any ice. Attack multi-hit. Yeah, we're going to reroll for sure. Frost baton. Meh. Chopper belt. No. Cold bubble. Ew. Volt ricochet is continuous. That's interesting. I don't know what that does. Spell hit disc. Yes. We definitely want that. Physical hit disc. I mean, we have... Both of our physical attacks are that. Our physical. Sorry, our weapon attacks are physical. And then our... Hurricane is also physical, so I'm actually going to roll with this one. Let's re-roll one more time. Yikes. Trapper Potion. Taking trap damage increases movement speed. I love it. Ice Ring, yikes. Sizzling Gem, yikes. I don't want to waste my reroll, so I'm just going to pick them up and we're just going to sell them, probably. See if there's anything in here that we want. All right, let's see. Basically, one hit them, you are also one hit. So it's a one hit challenge, yeah. The difference between crown and advanced challenges are... Are what? Is that an incomplete thought? Rooster legs, no. Ice Nova, no. Spell critical disc is good. So we buy that. What don't I want here? I don't want the sizzling gem. And I don't want this ice thing. I don't have enough for the expansion, unfortunately. Um, I'm just going to wait to plop in the rest of the stuff. Let's see if there's anything on the reroll. Coagulated gem. Obtaining a gem provides mana to a random disc. That's kind of cool. You know what? I'm going to buy it. And I'm also going to buy some rerolls. Sweet. Let's move. Crowns. Set boss shop type. Okay, I don't know what the class th three rules are, but it seems pretty elaborate. We're gonna take some hits most likely, but he's, he'll die. Earth Serpent. Oh, he's getting crushed. Get crushed, bro. Yes, sir. So that was easy. Wild Claw's bad. Gladiator's burden is not great. I'm just gonna take the gems. Random boss spawn? Like every boss is random? Or what do you mean by that? Alright, we're off to the crypt. I'm saving up for a slot expansion, I think. Please move. I'm already thinking I need more stamina or dashes. This is not my favorite situation here. So we have Boom Bolt, Librarian Bag, Increase Weapon Spell Damage for Unequipped Items. I hate how it only applies to your weapon spell. Generate 30% of elemental afflictions on enemy when enemy slash minion when it dies. Um, it's the best one for me here, although it's not great. So we want to expand. I want to use this spell. I want to use... I'll use the Coagulated instead of the Trapper's Potion first. And we're going to go Spell Critical Disc. Yeah, let's, let's settle for that for now. And we're going to have to save up for our next slot for sure. Or our next purchase. Ooh! So wait, is Crown... Crown is the highest difficulty in that game, right? Or is that a game mode? Somewhat confused here. In Crown Challenge, the boss is set is a set box. Example, Hyper Cooler or the Hoarder. They sound pretty mean. So wait, is Crown a specific difficulty and it's harder than Advanced? 
Maybe I'm understanding it completely wrong, <laughs> which is very possible. Alright, let's see. I'm starting to think that the fire aura is not good enough. Oh, it's a type of run. God, yeah. Continuous spells in this game are my favorite. And they continue to be my favorite. I just feel like it's like the best way to feed mana because they always are continuously hitting and they stay for a while. So, I don't know. It's hard for me to stray away from continuous spells, to be completely honest with you. I feel like they do do maybe less damage quickly. They don't have like burst damage exactly unless you're just summoning a whole bunch. But overall, I think the damage is fine. Ah, Ascension 15. They got the Ascension going on. I got you. Yeah, this game has uh, difficulty scaling to 14 out of question mark right now for my game. Pierce, 0% need. Spolt spread, yikes. On last combo attack, throw shurikens. We are doing combo attack. I don't actually think I'll use it. But I'm going to pick it up just in case I have extra space for whatever reason. Alright, let's see what we got here. We haven't used this attack in a while. Yeah, I don't know. Random placement on the explosions. Timing is a little bit hard on the explosions. I don't love the charge attack here. I, I prefer the combo attack on this weapon. Surprisingly. Very, very abnormal for me to say that about any weapon in this game. Usually a charged attack type of guy. So we are... I don't think I'm rich enough. I'm gonna wait until the shop to buy stuff. The four lemonade? What? Lemonade is what? When life gives you lemons. Do, 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 do. Anyone know that vine? Does anyone know Vine period? <laughs> it's like old school TikTok. Okay, here we go. Uh, we are getting quite wealthy. But we're also getting hurt a lot. Please move. We're moving. Holy crap. Give me that push. Yikes. I hate this room because of all the barrels. They really restrict your movement, and those barrels freaking hurt if you get hit by them. Where's the last dude? There he is. So we have slash disc. We have slash in our weapon, and that's about it. Seeking fire is bad. Enchanted lightning. Add 10 lightning damage to attack. I'm probably not going to use it, but I'll take it for now. We have way too many artifacts. The thing about keeping artifacts is it increases the cost for buying them. So you know what? I will start selling them once we actually want to buy some random items here. Oh, I see. So four lemonade equals full ability charge. I got you. So let's do... God, what? Who, who's doing these pools of damage? Excuse me, while I find this freaking name. I, I bet you it's this purple dude. Or maybe this purple dude. Good enough. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I lost like 100 HP there. Not good. Robux class is best to worst. Robux class best to worst. Oh, you're about to do a ranking for us? Relic is a class? I don't even know what that means. Relic class. Seems interesting. Oh, ouch. Oh my goodness. So we've hit our max on our one artifact that generates mana per second. We're actually doing quite a bit of mana generation from that. But the thing is, I don't want to keep my money. I eventually want to spend it all, you know? God, my HP, not good. My HP is not good. Ooh, just ran right into that attack. 
healer. Banker is one. <laughs> Banker. That sounds like kind of a weird class. Oh, I forgot to sell these things before I bought new ones. And it boosted up the, the cost because of that. So I'm going to be suffering a couple of... Or uh, wasting a couple of gems because of that. So we have continuous equals slash. That's interesting, but probably not useful. Buy a couple of things here. I should really be saving up for additional slots. I'm going to expand this slot here. So we want the trappers thing, I think. Um, maybe the physical disc, but we should really be doing something like this. What's triggering the most? 55 over here. Oh, it's from the attack thing. Interesting. Um, I don't think I'm going to do this thing. 30% increase mana gain. I mean, that's overall good. I think I'm going to use that now. But I don't think I'm going to use the conversion scroll. Meteor impact is fire explosion. Plasma slash. Last combo disc. Gazing disc. I reroll all of this. Glacial dusk is ice and continuous. Love it. Magma bubble is explosion. Every 0.5 seconds attack also creates a piercing attack. I don't care for the... Ooh, two continuous discs. Oh my god, both of them are pretty good. The, the continuous finish disc is not the best. I think the attack finish disc can be replaced by the continuous hit disc. And we just kind of pick up everything and move on, I think, from here. We'll sell them for any shop items that we like. Wow, that seems pretty crazy for the burst droid. <laughs> Sounds very, very elaborate. Phantom Rapier, no. We're not taking this Magma Bubble either. We can buy a couple of these items if we want. Gain dash stamina when casting weapon spell. I do like this particular relic. This is Blunt Stun. We don't need it. I'm going to buy a potion just to be safe. I would love to win our first run as the Emperor. So we have the Lightning Construct. Let's go. Please die. He's getting smacked. I'm going to veer on the safe side here. Oh my goodness. You know what I could do? I could replace this gem jar because we have barely any gems and put in this dashing slipper. So every time we cast our weapon spell, we get a dash charge back, which is pretty amazing because one of our spells relies on us dashing. It's those sparks over there. Those sparks rely on us dashing to move around and stuff like that. Shady uncle? What, what do you mean your shady uncle? <laughs> this is a really good item, this turbo charger, but I'd rather use the normal attack anyway, so I'm going to omit it. Would be a great item on almost any other build that I usually do, to be honest. Alright, let's go. Shady Uncle. Shady Uncle sounds like a term that people would use to describe like a specific type of person. Like, doesn't have, actually have to be your uncle, but it's just like... Someone that might be like a little bit older or like is just an acquaintance and uh, you don't know that well but they just happen to be around here and there for whatever reason. It's drugs. <laughs> He's dropping drugs off. That is a shady uncle thing to do. Generate per upgrade. No, don't like it. Critical chances rolled twice for favorable out outcome. That's actually good for us because we do want to do crit stuff. Obtaining gem provides mana to a random disc. You know what? Let's expand. And I'm going to use the Fanged Talisman here. We can put a... Probably continued f continuous finished disc is the next thing we want to do. And I'm actually going to put... No, we need a weapon spell. What has the least mana requirement for weapon spell? Spark thing sounds good. Because I want the least cost thing in here, or close to, just so that it refreshes the fastest. 
because as that thing generates mana and casts, we get a dash charge back. So having a low cost spell makes the most sense in there, I think. Although now we're not casting that that spark thing as much as we used to. That's okay. If it's low cost, I'm assuming it's actually kind of weak. Yeah, we we need some health. I will take that health. Um, I'm not going to go for a spell yet. I kind of rely on podiums more than random items for... Uh, for the good stuff in our build, usually. Oh man, the HP. The HP's be dropping. There's a potion. I hate this guy so much. That samurai dude with the, uh, with the hat on. He is very, very annoying because he attacks across the map and he also has a pretty large attack. Okay. Come here. Oh, wow. Get the gems. Thank you. Let's keep moving. You see those slashes? That's what he's doing. Oh my god. These enemies are so much tougher. Like the, the, the difficulty of the enemies. They scale up real quick. Please let me survive. Oh god, no. Ugh, not good. This is not a spell I want. This is not something I want. Bear Glove. I'm gonna take it and just sell it right away. Doesn't make sense for me to use that. How many more steps do I have? I have so many more floors to get to or get through before the shop. This is really bad. Let's just focus on dodging. Spells will cast themselves anyways. Oh god. The freaking spears. Holy crap. I don't love this. I don't love this. Ooh. See, this is why I was saying before, relying on a attack type disc to generate mana, not good in the later stages of the game because you don't really have a lot of openings to fight. So I'm gonna do this attack finish disc and just get out of it. <laughs> what? Warp backward. You can go back in time in that game. So let's go more towards this. Forward I guess is what I'm trying to say. Let's keep going forward. With 61 HP, it's not great. I feel so slow, too. Oh, nice hit by that guy. Really quick slash. We're just running. Please help. Please help. We're gonna kill the mage real quick. Oh, he dropped a delicious potion. Probably tastes like cherries. Oh, you gotta go? No problem, dude. Have fun in your game. I hope you defeat the ram. Oh, I'm gone for the weekend. I'm so sorry. Hope you enjoy the weekend though, but I will be gone this weekend. I'll be back on like Sunday, Monday. <laughs> but looking forward to seeing you next time, buddy. Eat some chocolate for me, some chocolate eggs. Or whatever you do for Easter. Ooh. Don't worry, we'll see each other soon. Oh, wow. They're sniping me. They're sniping. They're sniping hard. 14 HP. I don't want to be in this corner. Holy crap, I died! Piece of crap. Alright, we gotta restart that. <laughs> Yeah, I hope so. So we got a shuriken here. Seal shuriken slash attack. It's considered an attack. That's interesting. These are... How come these don't have the... What does the attack thing 
do. I guess if we have attack type spell generation, this counts as an attack instead of a spell. That's kind of interesting, but I'm not sure. All right, see you later. I don't love these spells, so I might reroll. Only cost 10 sparkly things and I have so many of them. Physical pierce. Hmm. Hmm. Or we can go continuous again. No, I'm gonna go something interesting. Oh, baby. The elemental void explosion is amazing. And maybe we can synergize with this explosion. Let's try it out. Grotto. Alright, let's start doing explosion stuff. I mean... Yeah, it's okay. The charge attack is okay. I was more impressed when I first saw it, but it's, it's really bad if you only do a partial charge. It killed that thing right away, but they're also very weak. Let's do a big buy here. The first purchase is always the most important, at least for me. Because we buy six items and we re-roll. You see this? So I guess the way that the crown works or the outfit works is if you summon more than one artifact, it will duplicate it. We're doing pierce damage with this spearman's belt. We don't actually have pierce, so I don't think I'm going to take it. I'm trying to synergize with the explosion, so I'll definitely take anything with explosion. This is interesting. Damage increases with attack speed buff. It doesn't make sense for me, but that is an interesting item. Nothing works here. Fire cape. No. Rooster we could do, but it's like the worst rooster item, in my opinion, that we found first. Flame wave is explosion. We take that. No. I'm going to reroll the rooster. Provide 10 mana to all to a random disc on critical hit. We can still go towards a critical build. Frost Pond is crap. Physical finish doesn't work. Last combo doesn't work. Ice Cape is bad. Glacial Dust we had last time doesn't work. Charging Disc. Generate 15 mana per second while charging charge attack. I don't know if we're going to be charging all the time. We might be running away later in the game like I was doing before. Uh, explosion, Power Disc. It's not the best item to have right away. Turbo Charger! Yes, we're charging faster, so it's, that's the perfect relic to, to find. I'll reroll one more time. Yikes. Explosion Hit Disc is better than the other one right now. And Spike Wisp, I guess I'll take, but it doesn't really fit with what we're trying to do at all. I can't believe we got the Turbo Charger. Look how fast we're charging. This is amazing. Holy crap, the Wisp is freaking coming out very frequently. This is it, we found the magic sauce. This is really, really strong so far. I thought the hit disc would trigger more often. Oh, it did, it's, it's the same. Okay, they triggered the same amount. We're moving on. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh my gosh, I love, absolutely love this turbo charge. It charges it so fast. It's supposed to be 150% faster, but it seems like honestly three times faster or something to me. Maybe I just have a really bad concept of mentally tracking time. But it seems way better than 150. Honestly, I should be... I should be switching this around. The Wisp should be over here. Yeah, I want the... Whoops, I switched these around. I want the elemental lightning to be the most frequent because it's cool and it also does every single element. And the spike wisp, I don't know if I love it. So we're just gonna switch that position around for now. Please die, you're dead. So we have Omni Element Strike, which is all elements, however it is blunt. We have no slash going on. This is a fire ring. All this is bad, but maybe I can use this element thing. I'll, I'll use it in my weapon spell for now. I think it's better than the Wisp. 
Yikes. Is that elemental blunt hit targeting right on top of the enemy? That's what I'm wondering. Because if it's not, then it's kind of useless in the weapon position. I, I can see it... I can see it doing some stuff. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's optimal still, you know? Increase enemy damage, no thanks. Charge it up. Yeah, it, it seems like it's actually casting on my position wherever I'm standing. Not a great spell to have there. So I might switch it back to the Wisp because otherwise... We're not hitting anyone with that spell. Good. Gucci. Gucci Gucci. We got a couple more before the shop. How does this spike thing work? I could read the description, but he's just kind of like floating around. It looks like I have to hit him, and then he gets knocked back and he spikes up. Very, very strange. Maybe the enemies can also hit him. I, I'm not sure. The minions are very interesting. I, I kind of want to try all the minions in one run if possible. I'm sure there is like a summoner summoners type of build that you can do, but I really haven't seen it. Thank you. Here's another summon. <laughs> it's another minion. Don't love it. I don't think I'm moving fast enough for the boots stuff. Be become immune to stun and knockback. All this is bad. All this is really bad. Um, next thing, almost there. I just have to remind myself at the beginning of the next wave, sell everything that I don't plan on using so that it's cheaper to buy it. I'll show you what I mean if you're confused. Bring it. Somewhat scared about the boss fight because they tend to be quite quick. And I, I am still pretty slow and I'm charging or trying to charge my attack. So it's a little bit dangerous because of that. Alright, so you see here the spell is costing more than the other two types of items. It's because I have two additional spells compared to having artifacts and spell discs. And that's why it costs more because I already have multiple of them and the price increases for the amount that you have in your inventory. So what I want to do, because next round I'm definitely buying things before the shop, I'm going to go into my thing, recycle anything that I don't actually plan on using and that will make it cheap again. because they're not existing in my inventory. You just have to do it before you finish the wave. Give me that potion, please. Get burnt. Yikes, yikes. Smack him a couple times to charge up. Dang, he had a lot of HP. Give me all that. It didn't make it cheaper. Maybe you have to sell it before you move on to the next floor. So I got it a little bit wrong. Whoops. Guess I'm not that smart. Either way, I'm gonna buy a bunch of stuff because I need it. So artifact will duplicate itself. Oh my God, what is this? Slash type when you spin it round. Is it gonna give me two? <laughs> I thought it would. Is it gonna give me three? It didn't give me three, okay. That was for science. Sure, I'll buy another spell disc since I have the means to buy it. Dual edges definitely don't want. Crimson Elixir, no, I don't need that. Wind Blade is Slash. What am I doing again? I'm doing Explosion. Physical, not doing physical. Yeah, we're re-rolling all this. Give me something I need. Crash Lightning is good because it's Explosion. Gem Horizon seems like it's Explosion because it does explode, but it isn't considered Explosion. Lightning, Death Disc. Nah, we re-roll all this. Not gonna work for us. Blunt power disc. We have no blunt. 
This is slash. I have no more rerolls. This really sucks. Not gonna take that. While dashing, create slash type attacks. Grizzly hide. Gain 1% stackable increased damage for 2 seconds when hitting an enemy slash enemy minion. That sounds really good. So I'm gonna take that and actually use it. Um, none of this really works for me, so I'm just gonna pick it up because we can't reroll and we're gonna end up selling most of it. Especially for the shop purchase over here. So we have knockback disc, which is 15 mana per distance. They're getting knocked back. Interesting. These don't really list a knockback power, but it could actually work for us. I'm, not, I'm just not sure. 400% weapon spell mana regeneration on stage starts, which diminishes over time. I'm going to reroll all of that. Gain a charge on overkilling an enemy or minion. Last combo attack consumes charges to deal additional damage. Meh. Not doing combo attack, so I don't know. I don't think it actually makes sense. Stamina disc is also really bad, so all this is terrible. We sell. Is there anything that I actually wanted to use? Wait, I think there was something I bought that I wanted to use. Whoops. Well, it's gone now if I actually did want to use it. I think I'm going to sell everything and just buy rerolls. Anything that I actually don't think is long term for us. Three should be fine. I don't want to spend all my money on it. Let's get in there. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. There was a disc that I didn't want to actually use. Crap, I'm not generating any kind of mana unless I do this. Oh god, I screwed myself over. Oh, wait, it's working. The only thing generating mana at the beginning for me is my charged attack. Because my discs are relying on explosion spells to be out there. At least we killed him fast. Swords Sheath. 60% increased weapon attack damage and 100% increased stun power for weapon attack. I'm assuming that means for my charge attack too. It's a decent option. Bard's Glove. While charging attack, increase attack speed and weapon damage. This buff diminishes as the player moves. While charging attack, increase attack speed. Now, would that mean this attack? Because I don't care about that. And it diminishes over time. Both of these kind of sound like they would do the same thing for me, except this one has guaranteed 60%. And it, it has increased stun power. Very interesting. They're both one level. This looks like it could work later game. 20 mana when other disc activates. That could go off really well. I'm actually going to take the crystals here. I was tempted by the artifacts, but... I don't know if it's a good idea. This one has a treasure. Hopefully we can get a decent spell. Because that will allow me to fill up my weapon slot. Hopefully it's an explosion. That would be the best case scenario, of course. Charge it up. Charge it up. Oh, oh. I didn't actually fire that one. In a way, charging... Using charge attacks allows me to do better positioning for myself to stay safe because it's just built in my mind I have to be in a safe place before I start um, charging. Meanwhile, if you're doing combo attack, like you're kind of just trying to get in their face all the time. Look at that. It is an explosion. Let's take the explosion spell. I don't, I'm not too familiar with chill eruption. It does have a low mana cost, so I'm going to keep it in the weapon slot. Let's see how it goes. Yikes. I think having any kind of explosion spell is kind of bad on the weapon spell because it's always cast on your position. At least from what I see. I'm sure there's a explosion spell that kind of moves around a bit more. And hopefully we find it because right now... We don't have a great choice for the weapon spell. Charge it up, charge it up, charge it up. You wish you could attack as fast as I can. Charge it up. 
You're dead. Bye bye. So we're going to continue moving on. What's the next pedestal room? Oh my god. Keep it. Oh, stupid lizard. HP definitely doing better than last time. Let's be real. Definitely doing better than last time. This guy has so much HP, this lizard. There's more? All right, we gotta kill the totems first. This mouse guy is definitely a little bit aggro. Holy crap, he's fast. He's attacking faster than I can charge. There you go. Get that guy. I'm really relying on like that lightning crash a lot. Is it even casting the fastest? This is doing 15 per stage, 42 versus 29. We're gonna switch these two because I feel like the multicolor lightning is the GOAT or the MVP, I should say. Greatest of all time so far. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so let's keep moving. Oh yeah, seeing tons of that lightning. Ooh. Stepping in the wrong spots. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing bad with the positioning so far in this room. That's it, right? That's it, right? Please die. There you go. Holy crap. Almost at a pedestal room. I'm excited. We could probably use another spell slot. Nope. I keep canceling my pass. If you dash too fast after letting go your, of the charge button, there is a chance that you will, uh, or it is possible for you to cancel your charge attack. Which sucks. Ooh. So you, have to, you actually have to like release it, you know what I mean? Did you get hurt, please? Goodbye. I am getting FOMO with the crystals. I see them disappearing. Good stuff. And we killed them. Okay, next one's a pedestal room. Finally. What do I have in my inventory waiting? Nothing. I have nothing waiting for me. Last time I had so many items waiting for me. Oh, damn it. I forgot the lizard just walks into you. Okay. Please help. Cast. Keep casting. Keep casting. Give me that push. These guys are stealth, so they're being little bastards. Please give me something good. None of this looks usable. Increased elemental damage. Meh. Ugh, rooted disc is terrible, obviously. I'll take the bolt spread. But it's not really usable. Or it is usable, but it's not preferred, I should say. It's not like it's, it's something that won't work at all in my build. It's just not synergetic. So this is a tight work in space over here. Let's kill this healing guy. Unless he's gonna heal me, then he can live. Nope. Is that it? That's it. What do we got next? We got a treasure room, and then after the treasure room, we wanna sell anything that we're not using to make the purchases cheaper. Yikes. Oh my god. Yeah, these purple pools of damage, we have to figure out who's doing that immediately. Jesus. Lots of hard enemies right here. I'm losing a lot of HP. Please stop. I just want to win. Maybe I'm not ready for level 14 difficulty. Oh my god. We're moving. Oh, what? What hit me? Something good on the pedestal. This is not explosion, is it? Sticky static. Tears of Sacrificed. Health loss removes all disc overheat. That's interesting to me. 
Generate 69.5 mana when any element status is triggered. Meh. I'm going to take the Tears of the Sacrifice because all overheat, that is pretty huge. Yeah, I think that's pretty huge to remove all overheat every once in a while. Of course, we don't want to get hit, but it's going to happen. And if there's some benefit to getting hit or some kind of... Uh, some kind of balance for getting hit, then that works for me. Because eventually, overheat will, if we're bu building everything correctly, overheat will kind of stagger the amount of DPS we can have. So we'll see if that turns out good. I'm definitely going to keep it. It's a five star item. There's not too many five star items that I remember taking. Oh god. Looks like we killed that enemy, whatever was about to cast right beneath our feet. Please die. I'm tired of this. Give me the crystals, yes. We've got two of these guys here. One is healing and one is defensive. Terrible combination for me. Goodbye. Oh, these guys are evading. Cool. There you go. Okay, so next floor is a shop. However, we have three rerolls and we're looking for a lot of stuff. Is it something good? Raging armband. Increase attack speed on attack hit. Now, I, I might need to do some reading, but I'm wondering if attack speed also counts as like charging speed. You know what I mean? But I assume it just means this thing. And that's not a great item, but I'm just gonna duplicate it just because I want multiple things on the floor for the reroll. I think this is an explosion. Mine explosion, sick. How much can I buy? I can buy a lot. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do it. Sweet. So we are going to take the mine explosion. It's actually a very cheap cast. So I'm gonna put it as my weapon cast. Physical creation, how many physical do I have? It's going to be my normal attack and also the mine thing. It could be okay, but I, I feel like I could find better. Explosion creation disc is obviously a good find for us. I think stun disc is also good because these explosions typically have a lot of stun with them. So I'll, I'm going to put that in the bank and use it later. Cone cap. Critical hit increases elemental affliction amount by critical damage multiplier. I have something to do with critical so far, right? Elven charm I have. Hmm. Obtaining gem provides mana to random disc. I think that's a good find too. This cone cap, because it's so rare, I'm wondering if I should take it. But I also don't know if if I love elemental affliction. I, I, I don't understand it enough to know if I love it. I'm going to pick it up and consider using it this time around. Warden's trousers, staying still, damage increases slowly. No, I don't stay still. That's not explosion. Voltage blast is explosion. Fire creation disc, yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna do one more reroll, but we're gonna have to pick it all up. Every 1.5 seconds creates a poison pool. <laughs> okay, I might use it. Frozen lightning star, won't use. Overkill disc is also good, so we got some really good items that are definitely usable here. Don't want it. Don't want it. Increased last combo damage is not good. So we're not going to take it. Carnage Ad Addict Helm. We do want critical stuff. Lightning Fury is really cool. It's slash and explosion lightning damage type. So we want to sell something for that. Sell you. What else did I say I don't want? Poison Flask I could do without. Yikes. Okay, I can buy it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna buy it. We're I'm not gonna try to sell stuff for rerolls because I like the stuff that I have in my inventory. We're just gonna sell to expand slots at this point. We have a pretty good explosion build going on. Get wrecked. Oh, I dodged totally the wrong way there. Maybe I should could have saved up for a potion last time. 
But if all goes well, we will kill this guy soon and we'll pick up the potion from the chest. Yes, sir. We did it. Don't give me any good items. Spell max hit. I don't know if that really applies to explosion because explosion is usually like piercing AoE. Don't know if penetrator really helps us here. Although it is a five star item, I, I have to understand it a little bit more to know why it's five star. I really need the health, so I'm just going to forget about it. And I have some artifacts that I already want to use in our next expansion slot. So we're just going to keep going on. BRX is here. This is it, everybody. This is the true test if this build actually works. I think it's working. As always, I wish I had more speed and more stamina, but... We have too many offensive items to, to use before we use something like that. Okay. Oh, you had to hit me at the end there, didn't you? Explosion equals slash scroll would have been good. There would have been some options that open up for us for sure with that, but I don't think I'm going to take it. Damage disc. Generate 30% of damage dealt as mana. I mean, that's just really good. I feel like this disc is not doing us as much as we want. Not doing as much as we want. Maybe, maybe later in the game we can use the activation disc, but I feel like maybe overkill or maybe the stun disc or even the new damage disc would be better than that. I'm gonna try the stun disc. We have a lot of explosion stun going on. Let's just try it out. We can open up the next slot as well. So we're gonna do overkill with this really cool lightning thing and we're gonna do Let's try the cone cap, although I really do want to try the coagulated with this particular build too. Oh my goodness. We stunning? Are we stunning? The stun disc is not performing as well as I thought it would. I'm watching it very closely and it is not doing anything. Okay, well. What can you do? I will switch that over to something later. So let's see the disc performance. 32, 34, 26. 26 ain't bad, but I feel like we could do better. Let's put the damage disc in there and see if it stacks up to the rest of everything else going on. Good. It's overheating, so I'm gonna say that it's better already. Shoot, move it, move it. Oh my god, these attacks are ridiculous. I'm just running. Screw this. I'm just running unless there is obviously a clear option for me to charge attack. Jeez. Like I got knocked into me somehow. Just kill the totem please, the obelisk. There you go. Yikes. Is there any way I can get healed in between rounds? Charge it up. First charge attack is the easiest. <laughs> After that, it's a gamble if you're gonna do it ever again. Nice. The engine is working. The engine is working very well. Well oiled machine go. Oh! Jesus, no! You need to die. What? Who the hell's shooting that stuff? Okay, cool. We made it out but lost a lot of HP. We still got quite a few ways to go. I think compared to last time though, we are definitely stronger. But are we smarter? <laughs> I'm gonna say no to that one. Still doing some stupid stuff. Oh, these arrows are so annoying. Charge, boom. Barely dodge that slash. Do the obelisk, Ooh. Nice, a potion. Don't lose the HP, you just healed. Chargey. Kitty. Great, now we just have the obelisk with just nothing. Alright, finally we have some pedestals. It took us long enough to get here. Ooh! That could have been bad. Give me this potion! Damn it! We just healed back what we got hurt. Or what damaged us. Oh my god, I hate this feather dude too. No! The purple pools, they charge so quick here. Okay, that was it. This is an explosion? No, it's a gash. 
Mm, don't want that. Generate. Generate mana based on fully health enemies getting damage to them. We could use it, but I, I don't think it's that great. I might be selling a couple of the discs that we have saved up, actually. Wait a minute, I should be expanding my slot. Expansion, put you here. We're gonna put the stun back in here and we're gonna put the coagulated in there as well. Is that stun disc doing good? Stun disc is not doing good. What the heck do I have to do? What do I gotta do to make you better? Even our first disc. Oh, never mind. It just started overheating like crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised that the stun disc isn't doing better. Yikes. Ooh. Yeah, we, we might be purchasing a heal or two from the shop. Yo, what the hell? There's a heal. Please, everything die very quickly. Finally. Give me something good. Not explosion. For each sage completion, upgrade a random item. Disabled if unequipped during combat. That would have been great at the beginning. Wow, I didn't know this existed. This is a, an amazing item if you can get it at the beginning. But it's not good for us here. I'm just going to hit hit up this thing and I'm going to sell it. How much did you trigger? 51. Oh, it did just as good as a damage disc, actually, surprisingly. Let's see if the activation disc is going to do better than the stun disc at this point. It seems to be doing better. Yeah, it's overheating. Okay, we're going to keep that in there. And with an additional slot with another disc overheating and passing, I think the activation disc will do even better. We're almost dead. No, nope, I hate this feather thing. Oh, we barely dodged that spear to the face. Don't do your feather thing again. What? Why is he healing? How can he heal? Not fair. That guy took so long to kill. All right. Could you just disappear though? Get the hell out of here. I don't want to go over there and smack you. I'm scared of the saw blade. This is it before the last thing before the shop, if that made sense. So sell anything that you're not using. Recycle you. Don't think I'm going to do first damage disc. Poison flask is not that great, but I might still use it. The carnage addiction thing is actually better. Um, stun disc. Yeah, it, it just doesn't work out for us. So let's go on to the next battle here. And we're going to have a lot of purchases to do. Please survive. Jeez. Right after I say that, I get hit twice real hard. Potion me. Oh, God. Oh, no. Barely dodged that orb. Scared. Very scared. Yes. Okay, next floor is the shop. However, I don't know if I should even buy an artifact. I feel like we're going to find artifacts. So I'm just going to go with spell discs and spells. Electric bubble is cool. We pick up the electric bubble right away. What is this thing? All damage hit disc. We only really have explosion. Generate 9.4 mana when hitting enemies with any d damage type. That still could be really good because we're constantly hitting things because we're casting so quickly, hopefully. So maybe, although we're only doing one type of damage type, that still will trigger a lot. I'm going to have to see. Let's keep buying a bunch of stuff just in case we need it. Okay, we're out of money here. So we have Electric Shuriken. I have never seen this, so that's really cool that it exists, but I can't pick it up here since we're not doing any of that kind of stuff. All of these spell discs are really bad. Oh, I have no rerolls? I thought I had some rerolls. 
Oh, that was so dumb of me. Okay, well. We wasted some money. That's okay. Yellow blouse, ring of fire, gem hoard disc is not good for us because we don't hoard anything. Executioner scythe, after 3.3 seconds, 0.35 seconds, kill enemies below 15 health, 7% for a boss. I love it, but it's not essential. Let's sell a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, not good. Not good, not good, not good. I'm just gonna buy a bunch of rerolls. Oh God, I'm, I'm wondering about this poison flask. I'm just gonna sell it. I'll buy the artifact. Because it's, it's a scythe and I can't resist. One more cheeky dice. So this is it. It's game time. I'm thinking that we're probably going to do this slot and not the last one. Because likely I'm not going to find that many spells and stuff that fit our build. Let's see how this goes. I forgot to buy heals. I'm so stupid. I should have bought some more heals. Some more potions. Oh god. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. I am begging you. Oh, I hate you so much. 17 health. Not great. She's only half health. We're just focusing on dodging at this point. Get me out of here. The electric bubble is huge. We need more stuff on her. All right, charge attack real quick. Oh, you mother. I'm about to break my keyboard or my controller, which is what I'm using. We're gonna have to get back into that and try it again. We were close that time, I feel, but I'm stupid and didn't spend any money on healing. But I will be back for revenge, for sure. We have to win at least one as the Emperor because there's achievements attached to that and I'm trying to 100% the game, which I did do before the update, but they added new achievements. So the Emperor is one of the the Emperor outfit and weapon is one of the achievements, so I will definitely be back. Let me know what you think about the spell disc content. Leave a like if you're enjoying it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Would really, really appreciate it. That's what we got for spell disc, and we'll be back with more soon.